Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Rain Report. Today is uh, Monday, May 6th. Hope you have yourself a good start to your uh, cash out Monday. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you're using a mobile device. Today's podcast is brought to you by the Rain Report. Come and learn about value percentage play, performance cycles, player availability, and we do use a strict money management system. Come and follow the Rain Report, the light version for free each and every day. All you got to do is go to atsstats.com, go to matchups, click on MLB, and then they'll take you to the next page, which is the Rain Report light version. And you can see right here, we have a, uh, a, a shorter version of the Rain Report with some uh, stats and trends at the bottom. And it's all for free today at atsstats.com. All right, I uh, hope you guys had a good Sunday. We had a bonus edition show yesterday here on the Rain Report. I uh, was in a, you know, doing some research, and I said, you know what, I got some great stats. I'm going to share the audience with on a Sunday. And you know what, it, it, t- it turned out pretty well. We gave out the uh, the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates 17 and two system that won. Needed a comeback win, but we got it. Also gave out the over in the Orlando Cleveland game. We had Vegas plus a run and a uh, puck line. And we had the New York Rangers straight up. So it was a, all, all in all, it was a pretty good day here at the Brain Report. And hopefully you guys were able to cash in on those uh, on those winners. And uh, we do have some good stuff for you here today. In fact, I'm going to show you a couple of value plays here in Major League Baseball. I got a system play in the Cubbies game. And then also a system play in the game between uh, Milwaukee and Kansas City. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the top Major League Baseball teams right now on Monday, May 6th. And don't look now. The Philadelphia Phillies are your best team in baseball at 24 and 11. The Yankees, Dodgers, and Orioles uh, with 23 wins. Cleveland is uh, 22 and 12, and those are your top five teams right now. Uh, Philadelphia, New York Yankees, LA Dodgers, Baltimore, and Cleveland, your best teams in Major League Baseball. Your top teams at home this season. You can see the uh, Phillies 13 and 6, Royals 13 and 7. Got a good system on the Royals here today. 12 and 8 for the Dodgers. 12-7 12-7 and seven for the Orioles at Camden Yards and the Cubbies. 12-4 and four really this season. So Chicago, don't look now. We uh, got the Man of Steel going today for the Cubbies. So should be a good one against you, Darvish. Milwaukee's your best road team at 13-6. and six. New York Yankees, 12-8. and eight. Uh, You got Boston, 12-7. and seven. Hey, Boston, really great pitching staff. Underrated pitching staff. And they, they all they do is uh, win ball games, 19-16. And, and Cora's doing a good job there with the Red Sox. Cleveland 12 and 7 and uh, the Philadelphia Phillies best team in baseball 11 and 5 uh, on the road this season so Phillies having a really good run. All right. Let's go to the SBI, the Sports Betting Index and see what has cashed in the, some tickets the last 7 days in Major League Baseball and its favorites. 65% of favorites have won in Major League Baseball the last 7 days, 35% to the underdogs. However, Major League Baseball favorites on the run line not as good, 46.7% and if you look at the uh, seven-day average when it comes to the over/under, the under is have carried the day. Neutral market, though, neutral market, 55.3 percent of the uh, Major League Baseball games have gone under the last seven days. And yesterday in the the bigs, nine and six for the favorites, ten four and one to the over, and the run line eight and seven, a small favorite here for the run lines. Uh, you know, you don't see the favorites win too many run line days, right? Look at the, all the green on this column right here. A lot of underdogs. So, hey, you know what? If you ever want to track, you got to know who's who in the zoo and when have a, a finger on the pulse of the markets because if you're betting into baseball each and every day, you got to know what you're getting yourself into and where, what the markets are telling you, right? All right, so I kicked off the show talking about value, right? If you uh, if you follow the Rain Report, what's the number one thing we always talk about the Rain Report? We talk about value and the percentage play. Now, I do have a great feature here today for you guys. I think it's great, but uh, we'll see what you guys think. And one of the things that I like to do in the Brain Report, so let me go back to uh, the free Brain Report, and I'm going to show you the types of teams in the in sports, right? I think the A-type teams are teams with a 60 or higher win percentage. B-type teams are teams with a 50 to 59.9 win percentage. Those are your average uh, teams, right? And then 49.9, those are teams below average. Those are your teams that are, uh, as Joe Namath would say, struggling. All right, so 60 is A-type teams, B is 50 to 59.9, and 49.9 or lower are C-type teams. Now, what I've done here is I've I've looked at all the matchups, and I said, okay, let's go find some value on the strength of schedule on the opponent that they're facing that day, right? So Philadelphia, an A-type team, taking on San Francisco, a C-type team. Look at the Phillies at home this year against uh, C-type teams. A perfect 9-0 straight up, while San Francisco struggles against those uh, 60 or higher win percentage teams. 0-7 0-7 oh, on the road, and 7-0 and oh to the over. So if you're looking at this game here today between the the, uh, the Phillies and the um, and the Giants, 
And uh, let me go see who's starting today for Philadelphia. You got Zach Wheeler against Mason Black. And uh, the over is 7 0. So maybe the over is something to consider here today. All right, Cleveland taking on Detroit. Um, not a lot of recurrence. Detroit pretty weak on the road against eight type teams. Only one in four straight up for Detroit. You got Jack Flaherty going up against Tristan McKenzie of the uh, Guardians. Pittsburgh, uh, LA. Hey, the, the Halos, you know what? They're uh, pretty good on the road against C-type teams. They're a perfect 3-0 so far this season. Only three occurrences, but uh, something to, uh, to keep an eye out today on the game between the Halos and the Bucks. Tampa Bay, Chicago. Now, they played last week in Chicago. Here's the payback time. Now, we're back to uh, Tropicana Field, where the uh, the Tampa Bay Rays are pretty good against those C-type teams. 6-1 and one on the season, 4-3 and three to the over-under. But the Chicago, they've only faced two teams on the road this year below 500 and they're perfect 2-0 so um, something to keep an eye on there I know it's two occurrences nothing to really write home about but uh, something you want to pay attention to Minnesota taking on Seattle you can see nothing to write home about here except for the under for Seattle if they're facing a B type team like the uh, the Twinkies 0-4 to the under so the under might I, I, I kind of like the under in that game here today between Minnesota and Seattle and the starting pitchers you got Luis Castillo going here for the uh, Mariners and Woods Richardson going here for uh, Minnesota San Diego taking on the Cubbies. Hey, the Cubbies at home this year against C-type teams. 2-6 and six to the under. Great pitching matchup yesterday uh, in that game with the Cubs and the Brewer, uh, Peralta and uh, Javier. That was a good one right there. We got that winner. Remember the uh, the system we gave yesterday? Um, any Major League Baseball home teams when the total is 6.5, the, uh, the home team is now 9-2 and two straight up in the next game. That was the Cubbies. Kansas City taking on Milwaukee. Nothing really to uh, write home about here. St. Louis taking on the Mets. Uh, yeah, the Mets struggle on the road against uh, teams below 500. Only one in five. It, it's that's it's always interesting to see, right? Two teams with the uh, the same type of record, but they struggle on the road, which is not really a, a surprise because you know they're struggling. That's why they're C type teams. Oakland taking on Texas, nothing really of value here. And the Dodgers taking on Miami. Dodgers, um, let me see, six and four against the teams they should really manhandle, right? You think about it. An eight-type team like the Dodgers, just, um, only a 60% win percentage against teams below 500, so maybe they're not taking them that serious. And the Marlins are three and seven against the eight-type teams, but two, seven, and one to the under against uh, those uh, eight-type teams. All right, let's go to your system play of the day. I got one system play for you guys today in uh, Major League Baseball, and we're going to go to the game between uh, the Halos and the Bucks. No, it's the Cubbies. Yeah, we're going to the Cubbies. Yeah, the Cubbies were yesterday. All right, so let's go take a look at the system. You got Justin Steele, the man of Steele, coming up against you, Darvish. Going to be a great pitching matchup. Tonight, first pitch at Wrigley, 740 Eastern. And uh, if you go look at the system, it goes like this. Anytime you got a pick em to 120 home favorite during the night versus a right-handed pitcher before a conference game, coming off a series win, which he did against the Brew Crew, coming off an under, and they're coming off a win against a National Central Division opponent, 13-3 and straight up for the uh, home team. And that's a play on the Chicago Cubs. So let's go Cubbies today against the Padres. And I also have a, another interesting system play for you guys here today. Anytime you got a home team that scored two runs in their last game, but gave up three. So basically home team coming off a 3-2 loss in their last contest. Look at the record for this team. 13-5 and five straight up. 13-4-1 and one to the over. You want to know who that pertains to? The Kansas City Royals. The Royals sending Reagans to the hill today. Uh, for Kansas City up against Bryce Wilson of the Milwaukee Brew Crew. And again, here's the system. Any home team coming off a 3-2 loss in Major League Baseball this season, 13-5 and five straight up, 13-4-1 and one to the over. And uh, be careful with that game. I think uh, the Kansas City should be a good one here for uh, uh, Kansas City on this side. I kind of like the side here. My other systems, I don't see anything here for um, uh, San Diego, though. Watch out, San Diego. Um, they're... they're Pretty, um, let me see, 7-3 and three to the over last 10. Okay, 4-6 and six in the last 10. Yeah, so we're going to go and look at the Cubbies. Um, actually, no, there was uh, Kansas City. Let me go to the Kansas City game. Kansas City, we'll look at their PVI SOS against those um, B-type teams, right? Milwaukee, oh, an A-type team, sorry. Milwaukee's an A-type team. And you can see, Ray, um, yeah, Kansas City 2-4 and four straight up, 3-3. Three and three. So you know what? Maybe the over is where you want to look at. I know I said Kansas City, but I think the over is where you want to look, pay attention because Kansas City does not do well against A-type teams at home at uh, Kauffman Stadium. Two and four straight up. All right, there you have it. That is the REM report today for a, uh, a May 6th. Eh? May 6th. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the show here today. 
And again, don't forget, you can get my top baseball system plays each and every day. In fact, my premium picks did pretty well yesterday, 2-1 and one overall. I had the, um, let me see, I had Vegas Golden Knights as a winner. I had the Washington Nationals plus 1.5. That was looking really ugly at the beginning when the Jays went up 7-2, and then uh, all of a sudden, yeah, the bullpen collapsed. I had the over in the Angels game against the Guardians, but I won with the Cubbies against uh, Milwaukee. 2-1 and one yesterday with my, actually 3-1 and one in the premium picks with the Vegas pick. And uh, if you're interested in my top plays each and every day, right here at ATSStats.com. That's where I hang my hat. And again, we'll hope to see you back here with to the winner's circle on Tuesday. In the meantime, shop for value, play those percentages. I'll see you back shortly here with another edition of the Rain Report. And always remember, shop for value, play the percentages, and uh, look for those performance cycles. Cheers.